for Burnaby Deer Lake. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Human trafficking continues to be a major problem worldwide. And as seen in the case of Riza Mozami, who has been charged recently related to human trafficking involving four teenagers, it is a problem in BC. Yet last year, this government slashed the budget for BC's office to combat trafficking in persons by 50%, and now the office has been dismantled and two-thirds of the staff fired or let go. To the Solicitor General, why has this government dismantled the office to combat trafficking in persons and stripped it of its ability to combat this very serious crime? Solicitor General. Well, thank you very much. And um, obviously, this government is concerned. It was one of the leaders and continues to be a leader in the country when it, 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 uh, we look at how we actually help to support people who find themselves in that position. And in fact, uh, Mr. Speaker, the member is uh, simply wrong. There continues to be an office that will be housed within the ministry. Uh, but in fact, Mr. Speaker, that is inaccurate. We continue to make it a priority. There was an adjustment in terms of uh, one of the, of the uh, positions that managed the office, but the office continues to exist, and it will continue to be a priority for this government. Remember, I have a supplemental. I do, Mr. Speaker. Well, this was an independent internationally recognized leading organization which has had its budget slashed and its uh, and it, and the number of people reduced from 6 down to 2 two people two thirds of the staff fired or let go including the executive director and the person responsible for outreach to first nations communities we know that there are young girls and young boys being recruited exploited and trafficked all across British Columbia. There is absolutely no consultation with stakeholders. The dozens of organizations and communities who relied on this organization for training, leadership, and assistance uh, provided by this internationally recognized uh, pro uh, or organization. Again, to the Solicitor General, why has this government taken this short-sighted step backwards in the fight against human trafficking in BC? Minister. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I clearly uh, articulated in the first question, changes were made to the office. In fact, there was a review done that looked at, in fact, how we could actually make sure we were delivering the best outcomes to ensure that women and young children are protected. And let me be perfectly clear, the budget to the office uh, to combat trafficking has not been cut at all this year, Mr. Speaker.